You have no compassion, no long suffering, no patience, no gentleness. You're ready to let go of your marriage. You're ready to let go of, of these relate these best friend relationships you had for years. You're ready to let go, not because of sin and what's called. You're ready to let go because you're offending. You're ready to let go because you're loving them on your own human strength. And you don't have the power of the Holy Spirit. You're not loving supernatural. That's the truth. That's why you're scared to give to people with your last $20. That's why you're scared to sow into other people because you feel like God will never bless you. You, you made so much money this season. You're like, man, I might not never get it again. So you never sow nowhere. You never trust God with your increase. You don't want to help just because your, your fridge is full of food. You're like, man, this is, this is our season of being filled. You think God blessed you so you could be blessed like that and leave everyone out? God blessed your fridge so you can help the neighbors. You can help people around you. You are blessed to be a blessing. When's the last time you got a promotion and you got you got a blessing? You ask God, is this for me or for others? God, you gave me this peace today. You you gave me this healing inside my heart. I thought I, I thought this wound would never heal, and all of a sudden I'm I healed. And then I look at everybody else who don't know how to heal. I look at people that are wounded and people don't have peace, and I'm like, well, I hope I had my season. I hope you're gonna got you gotta go through yours. So whatever it takes for you to get yours, that's on you. But you have wisdom to give to them. You have, you have directions. You have common sense. You have instruction to help them heal. You don't even want to sit down and share it with them. Forget the money. All right, some of you are just going to be stingy. Be stingy. That's on you. That's on you and God. But what about the wisdom? What about the healing? What about God saving your marriage? You can't help the next marriage that's falling apart. You can't give them advice. You and your wife are blessed. God strengthened your covenant. You can't go sit down and help them and find out where was the root, that the same root that tried to destroy you that you got rid of. Where's the root in these other people that need to understand a strategic and intentional way to win? Shame on you. That's selfishness. Shame on me. If I ever withhold peace and, and healing inside of me and, and think it's just meant for me to be healed and everyone else to be broken. That's not it. That's for none of us. I'm talking to all of us.